we're out here driving around, dropping in on some of the job sites. This is a job site here where we rolled up in the beginning and listened in on the conversation between Tom and the general contractor, where they were going over some of the details. <clears throat> well, our control point's right there, but we don't have an elevation on it. But probably only two feet from there, especially if that our 100 mark in the center of that door. We have a webinar coming up that is sponsored by Half Moon Education. It's about adding basements to existing buildings. The agenda is all laid out here. We talk about assessing the feasibility of adding a basement to an existing building, excavating, basement construction, integrating the basement with the existing structure. We cover all of that, pretty much everything there is to know about a basement conversion. If you go here to the link, I'll drop the link below. The webinar is on Wednesday, May 15th, 2024. And we need a microphone. We need a microphone for this webinar that we don't have right now. So we are gonna, we're gonna purchase this microphone right here. Podcast microphone for computer, Mac, smartphone, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna purchase this microphone and we are gonna try it out during this webinar. Hopefully it works out good. If not, we'll see. We'll do a review on it afterward and see how it turned out. All right, so we just pulled up on the job and the guys are back here excavating. So we are gonna walk back here and see what we can see. What we can see. Get in on some of the excavation and see how they're doing. Okay. We were here earlier watching the guys excavate this area. It looks like now they have it excavated all the way down and are putting the forms in for the foundation. This is pretty cool the way they got the back of this house opened up here. You can just look right into the back of the house. It's all opened up. <laughs> and we had this foundation poured. We brought the subcontractors out to pour the foundation and it looks like we ran into a little bit of problem. This is a job site that we dropped in on in the beginning and we, we caught Tom talking to the GC of the job, going over some of the job detail and we came back later to see the area being excavated by the subcontractors that were out here excavating and setting the forms. We came back to see the forms after they had been set. The footers were then poured but then we ran into a problem because they were poured in the wrong place. Right. Which, in most cases, 
they do even on the older houses. But this, this one, shit. Look up here. It's a, maybe 10 inches to a Less foot. than a foot, yeah. Yeah. They repair one problem after another problem. So those are eight foot pins. Oh. Uh, oh, right there. Yep, and it so. comes straight down in front of this brick. Oh. You know, and I and I realize in our world shouldn't have it. This one has to it is. Push right. these guys back and do this, right? Thank you. Thanks, Chef. Nice to meet you. Come on, that's the funny part. You at home? Yeah. So our daily issue is that our sub was supposed to be here about two hours ago doing wall, and our the GC, which was just here, is you know kind of wondering why things aren't happening, and I'm kind of wondering why things aren't happening. And Tom's kind of wondering why things are happening. And you're filming us saying, what the fuck's happening? And no one knows because the sub who said he'd be here two fucking hours ago was in here. So now, yeah, we're standing here basically with our balls in our hands saying, well, we're going to get a new sub out here that shows up when they say they're going to show up because our guys are all fucking busy doing other shit. So. All right, guys, looks like we rolled up just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time to catch nothing happening with something that should be happening. <laughs> well, I understand that, but the communication, I mean, when you tell us that a job's going to get done, I mean, it's got to get done. We're on a time schedule. I mean, I got the GC out here, everything. We need to get this thing squared away. So I got another, I got somebody else coming down here because I got to get this job done. All right, bye. So, okay, we're inside now. My temper's calmed down. I'm getting a little bit older. Look, I got some stitches on my face from sun. I don't know what it is. I went to the doctor. They gave me more stitches. Like, I need more stitches. You know how many stitches and broken arms and cuts and everything I've got over the years? Hey, you're getting old and ugly. Let's make you a little uglier. A little more scar face here. Let's take a little bit off the top here. Oh, I'll take some more complaining phone calls here in the next five minutes. Yeah! Yeah, Okay. because then they're only going two foot down, so he can box those two out. Because see, their steps are coming down on this side. On this side, yep. You're never even going to see this side because it's in that room. Right. It might shrink that landing just a little bit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that might get in their landing way right here. That's right at the bottom of the floor joist now. So you're going to be down about eight more inches. This foundation here, is this the first foundation that we poured or is this the second foundation? No, so this is the second footing. So basically, unfortunately, yeah, this job has been so far one problem after another. And yeah, if you look around here, you'll see a bunch of rebar and concrete because we already poured a footing, the footing was in the wrong spot. So then we pulled the fucking footing out because somebody <laughs> fucked up. Ultimately, it was my fuck up for not coming out and checking on things. So the buck stops here. I don't push the buck off to somebody else. The, ultimately, it's my fuck up. So I should have showed up and overseen, you know, what was happening and made sure that all the marks were in the proper spot. So, but anyway, that being said, I also don't fucking cry about spilt milk. I push on, we keep moving forward. What's done is done. We pulled the fucking found the old footing out, fucking report a new footing in the right spot, and we're moving forward. So that being said, our new problem is our sub that was supposed to be here, that was supposed to start today, for the third time now, is not here, not doing his fucking job. <laughs> so now we're our guys are too busy on other jobs. So that's why thus you have subs because subs fill holes, and if you got good subs, that's great. We have some good subs and we have some shitty subs and obviously this sub is a fucking shitty sub. So, um, yeah, so now we're out here trying to figure out our next step of getting <coughs> one of our good subs out here or our guys out here to keep things moving. But in the meantime, the GC is not happy because what they see is a bunch of fuck up, which I can't blame them. You know, if it was 
I was a GC and I came out and kept seeing one fuck up after another, I'd be pretty uh, upset myself. And I am upset. So it's, you know, something we're going to fucking fix and we're going to move forward and get this thing done and make the GC happy at the end of the job. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's what they remember. They remember that we took care of the job, we made things right, and they'll call us back on the next job. Small thing to a giant, man. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about this footer right here. So this is just a footer, right? Yep, yep. And this is what went in the first time, and it was in the wrong spot? Correct. It was too high. So it was one foot too high, and we couldn't finagle it anyway. It just had to come out and basically get pushed down by another 12 inches. So. Oh. So now it's in the right spot. Everything's good to go. Um, you know, we're going to meet our other sub, our good sub, here in a few minutes and walk through it and... He likes to cry a lot, but once we get past the crying part, <laughs> the rest is business. So, okay. yeah, so that's how that's going to happen. I didn't call you on this job because I know you don't like the small jobs. You like the big jobs. So, that being said, this is a problem job. Now, we have to build a column here, and the plans don't call for it. We need a two-by-two two column. And then this wall goes. This wall goes this high. Oh. Through. Now so the plans. That, it's gonna form on the one side. No, we're gonna have to form both sides. So that's the problem. Is that you know this job is real tight. And the next problem. So you're gonna have to probably use some wood, some plywood in that corner, so that you can just leave it on the back side. So how close to here you want? It goes right to it. So the wall. Wall is right to this. So the offset of the new wall is one foot or 14 inches from this corner over. So that puts it right here. That's the wall that's going this way. So that's what I'm thinking if we can form a column that goes all the way up. And this side, you're just going to have to leave. You're going to have to do it with wood because you're going to have to leave. There's no way to get it out. We got to go up. How far was it? This is an eight to... foot 10 and eight foot 10 and off the footing. Off the footing. So, but the plans don't show this. The plans just show us coming in, coming in. But we, they didn't know this footing didn't come down. This footing doesn't. Their old footing on stuff. There's no footing. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they thought the footing this guy came. Takes in. A little piece of glass. Yeah, <laughs> don't do it. <me. laughs> <laughs> that 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 they thought the footing came down to here, right? And it doesn't. There's no footing here. So <coughs> that's why we need to catch it. And go up higher, and we need to build the, we need to build a two by two or an 18 inch by 18 inch column in here, whatever we can fit. Did you said 14 inches from here. Yeah. Just like that. Right. Anyway, form. We got to form out here. This piece is probably gonna have to be a piece of sacrificial lumber, and then you got to do now the now the plans show coming straight through, but I don't want to pull this out. I want, I want to come an eight inch in front of this so that we're not messing with this piece. So why is he coming to that was and move down? He can carry the hook and down? Yeah. Right. Because that corner of the house sits on this. And I don't want to disturb this. And now the plans also show this wall coming a foot. What was that? A foot into the past? Yeah. So it goes a foot past over here. But I want to pour this wall first so that we can lock this in. So I want you to form from there over here first, get this poured, and then build. And then we can build and do a little bit of digging here after this piece is poured in. Well, because it's got to go into there? Mm hmm. Another foot after we lock it in. I don't want to undig this because I just don't want all of this like that. See that? I just talked about it. Let me start to come down. Look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Do you have good insurance cover my Yeah, I got the best insurance to cover your <laughs> So this is one level? Yes. So this is going like... 8 for 10. 8 for 10 all this. See. <laughs> you hear that shit? <laughs> <He's this>. <laughs> See? <laughs> you got a uh, gap on the middle here. She's got a, we need a little bit of room to put the ties in there. That's the process where you're going to have to put a gate system 
sacrificial board that you're gonna put all your ties in first. Somehow, you're the genius here, get that fucker up against the wall and it's there for good. So why don't some guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, put up braces in here? They stand here, get right on top of these blocks of being here. So this was not tie on that wall? We'll have to dial into it or put rebar into right, it. Right, right, okay. Yeah, they don't have a detail for it. We've been having some issues with those subcontractors uh, not being reliable, not showing up on the job. So obviously that's a huge concern. And we had to go with uh, another subcontractor. So we're gonna continue to follow this job and see how things go. Uh, that's why we're out here now seeing, you know, just checking in and seeing what, what kind of issues we run into. Cool, man. We're just going to keep right on uh, dropping in on these job sites and checking in on the story. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Please drop your comments below and don't forget to support your local small business by subscribing to this channel. We'll see you again next time.